uh, thanks for coming. Yeah. I'm Andy with Qualcomm. So from this booth, I'm presenting our latest post-processing imaging features. Right. So first one, we call this UV focus. Okay. So as you see, this is the picture I took already. Yeah. So as you see here, close distance, far distance, and mid distance, everything is all in focus right now. Yeah. Usually when end user take the snapshot, range is moving at one position. That means we only have one distance focused. Yeah. But our processor, 805 Snapdragon, fast enough to capture multi-feature in very short period. Mm. And then our technology also allowed to make some fusing. So basically, multi-capture with different lens position, and then we can make this all in focus image. Yeah, that's amazing. Like it's so, then, it's so sharp. Yeah, and then even after, even after taking this picture, mm. we can change. Oh, you can refocus. Yeah, focus position like this. Yeah. So we can call focus on demand. That's amazing. That's yeah. like the, the Lytro camera. Yes. Yeah. Lytro camera already have this feature out there. But as far as I know, Lytro camera is using some special hardware. Yes, it's but, quite large. Yeah. Yes. But our feature is purely software running on our Snapdragon hardware device. Mm -hmm. And then it allows manufacturer just to enable this feature without any additional special hardware. Really? Yeah, that is also an amazing thing. Yeah, so they can use their standard camera yes, modules yes. that they're yeah. using now. Just like, this, just like this, one smartphone camera can enable this feature. It will be no problem without any additional hardware. So when is this going to come to market? When are we going to start seeing it? Uh, I, uh, we are working our lead customer very closely, mm -hmm. but commercialization schedule is up to their... Microsoft? Are they going to... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I cannot tell that. wasn't that. a deal going down? Right <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah. But we'll, probably we'll see it in tablets, smartphones. Yes, tablets, smartphones, yeah. real time soon. I believe so. Great, great. Yeah. What about, like, this would be all good in compact cameras, too. Are you talking to camera manufacturers at all? Uh, we also talking to camera manufacturers like the other Nikon, Canon, yeah. but we are still at the little early stage, so I cannot comment what is being going on with right. those camera vendors. Sure. But right now we are focusing all the smartphone and the tablet manufacturer like the Samsung, LG, GT, Huawei. Yeah. So they are working us very closely, especially with this kind of the other very promising our latest feature. Well, this is amazing. That, that that's the camera everyone has now. Yes. No yes. one really has a compact. Yeah. So much anymore. Yeah. So. Another feature I can show you sure, yeah. is. Chroma flash. We call this chroma flash. Okay. Oh, this wow. yeah. This feature yeah. is to eliminate any side effect with flash firing. Mm. Okay. This is one example. Let's say I'm in the fancy restaurant yeah. with my girlfriend. Yeah. So it's dark. So whenever I want to take a picture, I need to fire flash. Yeah. That's normal situation. Yeah. But usually the flash is very Right, yep, with short term, yeah, yeah, just like this, yeah. and then the color tone from fresh is really bit bluish. That's so, unusual, yeah. yeah. It's so not natural, like this. Fresh is too strong, so I cannot see the background. Yeah, and then fresh is a little bluish, so skin tone is. I can say it looks like some dead body. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> not this is normally what we can get. Yeah, without fresh, we can get this kind of picture. I can see everything, but yeah. in general, it's pretty dark. Yeah. So when we run our chroma flash, we are taking flash on yeah. picture and flash off feature yeah. very fast, and then fusing these two, and then we are making this kind of the final outfit. Oh, wow. So more, color, more natural color, yeah. more natural brightness. And then even we are thinking background like this. Yeah. Okay. And that's, so that's happening so fast you're not even noticing yes, it. Yes, yeah. yes. And you just may not notice about this one because they just see, oh, fresh is fired. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, it's much better. Yeah. Just like this one. They don't need to require, they don't need to notice about the other, no fresh image is taken yeah. because our pair of, our processor is so fast and then fast enough to take those two shots within couple, couple... Seconds? No, 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 not a second, couple milliseconds, yeah. yes. Amazing. Yeah, another good example for this chroma flash mm -hmm. is tangerine. So, here's the final output. Mm -hmm. And then, 
this is normal picture we are getting from the other fresh firing. Yeah. See this area. Totally washed out. You can't totally washed out. Yeah. And then I cannot see what characters, what text is inside. No fresh image. Yeah, I can read it. Read but it. again, everything else is yeah, everything is very dark. So when we do fusion these two input, we are not just considering brightness and then the other color. We also consider we also considering some text information yeah. like this, and then we are making this text visible as much as we can. That's awesome. Yeah, this is like. Like, I'm a photographer sometimes as a journalist, mm -hmm. right? And usually you're using expensive post-processing software, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like Lightroom or something. But yes. you do, you, you accomplish the same things if you have a raw file, which is a huge file. You've got to work through that, right? And, but you're doing it on a smartphone, yes. like this. Yeah, just like this. Without less any than, user input. Less than a second. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Do you keep the originals? Like, is it non-destructive? Oh, yeah. It is up to the other manufacturer. So we are selling our technology. Yeah. We are not end product maker. Yeah. So we sell our technology to the other older worldwide manufacturer, like the other LG, Samsung, and then Huawei. Mm -hmm. And then depending on their use case, they can create their own scenario for for example, after this picture is taken, they can just show, just show the good one. final one, yeah. or they can show this final one and then fresh one together, mm -hmm. so end user can select which one is good to save. Yeah, yeah. great. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks very much. No problem. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Chris, what do you think? That looks really That's good. That's really impressive stuff. Yeah. I think we should use that in our in the CBE uh, we, line of smartphones launch, and tablets. Uh, when we launch CBE, our own Chris OEM. Electronics. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's license that. Let's make that All right. happen.